This video is called Creating Section Animations with Scenes, and it's basically about two of SketchUp's coolest features, sections and scenes. Obviously, creating section animations with scenes is about that. Okay, so the basic premise is you can actually create animations with section planes, um, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, what we've got is a basic little model. There's no scene set up. You can see that there's no scene tabs here at the top of my model window. I've got this model. What I'm going to do is open up my scenes dialog box. It'll kind of live right here for now. And I'm going to go up and get a section plane. Let's go to Tools, Section Plane. I'm going to start by making a, a plan section. There we go. It's right on the ground. And let's kind of just drag this up until I like it. Something like that. Okay. And I can kind of change my view here so I can see things a little better. There we go. Okay. Once I like that view, I'm going to hit Add Scene right there and it's going to create a scene tab just like that okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new section plane now this is the key too many people move the section plane at this point and then um, none of this works so I'm going to do it right the first time and then I'm going to do it wrong and then I'm going to do it right again and you'll see hopefully um, how to do this because it took me two years to figure this out so I'm trying to save you a couple of years okay so what I've done is I've created a section plane I've created a scene now I'm going to go up and create a new section plane. Let's move that into position, just like that. And I'm going to create a new scene. There we go. So now I've got two scenes. Um, I don't like being able to see these section planes here, so I'm going to go up to the View menu and just hide those section planes. But watch what happens when I click between the scene tabs. The section plane is actually animating, just like that. Okay. Now, let's get rid of those scenes for now. And I'm going to show you how a lot of people end up trying to do this. I'm going to turn on my section planes again. Let's hide this one right there. Now, this is how a lot of people try and do it. They've got one scene, right? They've got a scene and they've got a... Actually, let's delete that and kind of start from scratch. And I think you'll get a picture of what's going on. Okay, so I've got a section plane. It's cutting through the building. I've got no scenes. I'm going to say create a scene here. Let's, um, I don't know, save as new style this time. Create the scene. Cool. And then this is what people try and do. They take the move tool and they move that section plane and say, okay, then I want a section up here on the second floor. And they create a new scene. And then they click between the scene tabs. So let's hide those section planes. They click between the scene tabs. And look, all that's happening is the model's moving because I moved the model. I orbited a little bit between creating those scenes. But notice how the section plane isn't moving. And the reason for that is pretty simple, but not obvious. The reason is you only have one section plane in this model right now. So it's not moving between active section planes. It's only, it's only doing one plane. So let's, let's try and fix that. Let's delete that. We're going to delete that. Okay, so what we want to do is start with, let's say, a section of the second floor, just like this. I'm going to create a scene. Let's update the selected style. There we go. Okay, so I created a scene. And then what I've got to do, if I want to make an animation that shows the second floor being cut until the, sec the first floor is being cut, I've got to create a whole second section plane. So let's create a new section plane. We'll dump that on the first floor, just like this. And then I'm going to create a new scene. Now watch what happens. If I go to View, turn off Section Planes, and I create, click on the scenes, you'll see that it's going to transition between the two section planes. Now, if I turn on those section planes, you'll see what's actually happening. It's transitioning between active section planes. So hopefully that's pretty clear. The big thing that I want you to take away from this is if you want to have two scenes and have an animation of a section plane between those two scenes, you need to have two section planes. It's not going to work if you only move the one section plane to a new place for the second scene. Okay. I hope that's awfully clear, because that's the end of this video for Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.